In the heart of modern life, where functionality and aesthetics seamlessly converge, lies a material that has quietly transformed the world of bathrooms, kitchens, and beyond. Sanitary porcelain, a material that may seem humble, forms the foundation for the sleek, smooth surfaces of toilets, sinks, bathtubs, and tiles. But what is the journey that turns this essential raw material into the lustrous, durable porcelain we recognize today? To answer that, we must embark on a fascinating exploration of the meticulous process that blends age-old craftsmanship with cutting-edge technology. This journey encapsulates sanitary porcelain. How is it made? A story that reveals the intricate steps behind this everyday marvel. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The journey begins with the most fundamental ingredient, clay. This raw material is extracted from natural deposits, primarily a combination of kaolin, feldspar, and silica, which are found abundantly beneath the Earth's surface. Kaolin, a fine white clay, forms the backbone of porcelain's smooth texture, while feldspar and silica act as fluxing agents, lowering the melting temperature and contributing to the porcelain's strength and durability. These materials undergo careful mining, cleaning, and refining to ensure they meet the strict standards necessary for the next phase. The quality of the raw materials is crucial, as any impurities can compromise the porcelain strength or smoothness. Once prepared, the raw materials are mixed with water to form a fine, moist paste known as a slip. This slurry-like mixture is the beginning of the transformation. The slip is carefully blended to the correct viscosity, allowing it to be poured easily into molds. Before this happens, however, the slip is sieved to remove any remaining impurities and air bubbles, which could affect the final quality of the porcelain. During this phase, manufacturers also fine-tune the chemical composition of the slip, enhancing properties like resistance to wear and staining. The next step is pouring the slip into molds, typically made of plaster, designed to shape the porcelain into its intended form. These molds are crafted with exceptional precision, as even the smallest imperfection can affect the final product's functionality and aesthetics. As the slip fills the mold, the plaster absorbs moisture from it, causing the porcelain to solidify. This process can take anywhere from several hours to a full day, depending on the thickness of the porcelain. Though the porcelain takes on its basic shape during this time, it remains fragile and malleable, requiring careful handling throughout the drying phase. Drying is a critical stage in the production of sanitary porcelain. As the molded pieces lose moisture, they gradually harden into a more durable form. However, this process is delicate. Uneven drying can cause warping or cracking, which would compromise the porcelain's integrity. To prevent these issues, the temperature and humidity of the drying environment must be controlled precisely. In industrial settings, large drying chambers are used to ensure the porcelain dries uniformly at the ideal rate. This phase can last several days, depending on the size and complexity of the piece. Once the porcelain is fully dried, it reaches a level of solidity that makes it ready for the intense firing process without risk of deformation. Then comes the firing phase, where the real transformation occurs. Porcelain enters the kiln, and the heat reaches temperatures ranging from 1,200 to 1,400 degrees Celsius, 2,200 to 2,550 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme heat converts the porcelain into the dense, durable material known for its strength and resistance to water absorption. The firing process is essential as it not only solidifies the porcelain, but also triggers a chemical reaction that binds the particles together, giving the porcelain its signature gloss and resilience. The prolonged exposure to high heat ensures the porcelain is impervious to stains and retains its form even under demanding conditions. The result is a smooth, shiny, and impervious surface that stands the test of time. 
Once fired, the porcelain undergoes glazing, a crucial step that adds its signature lustrous finish. The glaze, composed of silica, flux, and other compounds, melts during firing to create a smooth, glass-like surface. Techniques like spraying or dipping are used to apply the glaze, depending on production needs. A final lower temperature firing fuses the glaze to the porcelain, ensuring a polished, durable finish. At this stage, manufacturers may also incorporate decorative elements, from intricate patterns to solid colors, offering diverse designs and finishes. But the journey of sanitary porcelain is far from over. After glazing and firing, each piece undergoes a rigorous quality control process. Every item is carefully inspected for imperfections such as cracks, discoloration, or inconsistencies in the glaze. Specialized equipment, including X-ray machines, may be used to detect hidden flaws within the material. This ensures each piece meets the highest standards of durability and performance, especially considering the harsh environments where sanitary porcelain is used. Only the pieces that pass these stringent tests move on to the final stage, packaging and distribution. The end product, whether a toilet, sink, or bathtub, is then ready to make its way to homes, hotels, and commercial spaces. The journey from raw earth to finished product is an extraordinary transformation, blending ancient techniques with modern innovation. The result is a material that offers both beauty and practicality, capable of withstanding the demands of daily use while maintaining its pristine appearance for years. The smooth, glossy surface of sanitary porcelain is more than just aesthetic. It's the product of centuries of refinement, a testament to humanity's mastery over materials and its continuous pursuit of perfection. In today's world, where sanitation and hygiene are more important than ever, the creation of sanitary porcelain remains a vital process. This versatile material is not only functional, but also integral to our daily lives, enhancing the design and performance of the spaces we inhabit. Whether it's the timeless elegance of a porcelain sink or the dependable reliability of a toilet, the sanitary porcelain we often take for granted is the result of a precise, labor-intensive process that demands both innovation and expertise. As long as we continue to prioritize cleanliness, comfort, and design, the legacy of sanitary porcelain will undoubtedly continue to shape the way we live. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.